In this financial mathematics lesson, we're going to have a look at sinking funds. When vehicles and equipment are bought on a regular basis, a company makes use of a sinking fund to plan ahead. A sinking fund is an account that is used to save up in on a regular basis to be able to buy the new vehicles and equipment in the future. To open such an account, the following calculations are needed. Firstly, the value at which the old equipment will be sold needs to be calculated, and for that we use the depreciation formulas. Secondly, the value of the new equipment that will be bought has to be determined, and for that we use inflation. And lastly, the difference between these two values needs to be determined, and this value will be the future value that has to be saved in the sinking fund. Let's have a look at an example. A company purchases equipment for 900,000 Rand. The value of the equipment depreciates at a rate of 10% per annum on the reducing balance method. The company wants to buy new equipment in 10 years' time. Inflation is estimated at 7% per annum. The old equipment will be sold at scrap value after 10 years. To purchase the new equipment, the money obtained from selling the old equipment will be used and a sinking fund is set up to finance the balance. Question A. What amount should the company budget for in the sinking fund for in 10 years time? To determine the value that the company should budget for, we are going to follow our three steps. Firstly, we need to determine the value that the old equipment can be sold for. We are given that the equipment depreciates at 10% per annum on the reducing balance method, and that is why we can immediately start substituting into this formula. Originally, the equipment was worth 900,000 Rand, and it depreciates at a rate of 10% per annum for 10 years. That means after 10 years, the old equipment can be sold for 313,810 Rand and 60 cents. Next, we need to determine the cost of the new equipment after inflation. Inflation is always calculated at a compound rate and therefore we can immediately substitute into our compound formula. The original amount for the equipment was 900,000 Rand and inflation will be 7% for the 10 years. That means the cost of the new equipment will be 1,770,436 Rand and 22 cents. And finally, we need to calculate the difference between these two values so that we can find the amount that the company should budget for in 10 years time. And this means that the sinking fund should grow to a value of 1,456,625 Rand and 62 cents to ensure that within 10 years, they can buy the new equipment without taking out a loan. Question B. The interest rate for the fund is 9% per annum compounded monthly. The first payment into the sinking fund is made immediately and the last payment at the end of the 10 years. How much must the company pay into the fund per month? We know that the sinking fund is planned for 10 years and that a deposit will be made monthly. The last payment is at the end of the 10 years months and that means after 120 months. It is very important here to realize that the first payment is made immediately and then at the end of each month. Therefore, there will be one payment more than the period. And here we are going to make use of the future value formula because we want the big amount at the end of the 10 years in the future. We know that the future value of this account should be 1,456,625 Rand and 62 cents. We want to calculate the monthly payment. The account will receive interest of 9% that is compounded monthly and we will have 121 payments in this period 
because we've already mentioned that there's 120 months, but there's an extra payment because they start immediately. Then this will be divided by the interest rate compounded monthly. Next, using algebra, we are going to solve x, and then we will see that x, the value of the monthly payment, will be 7,433 rand and 7 cents. When this company buys their new equipment in 10 years' time, it will cost them 1,770,436 rand and 22 cents. But because they plan ahead, they will only make 121 payments of 7,433 rand and 7 cents, meaning that they will pay 899,401 rand and 47 cents themselves. The rest of the money will be made up of the selling of the old equipment as well as the interest that their sinking fund will receive.